Good morning, everyone. We're starting a few minutes early today because I've got Jen up here going to do a demonstration to show you how easy the Brother Machines are. We wanted to announce the winner for this month, and it's Holly Butler has won this. Yay for Holly. Yay yes. Holly. So next week um, or the 1st of June, be sure and sign up. We'll have a new giveaway. It's always nice stuff. So we wanted to share that with you this morning. This is the last call out, last day for our 30% off monthly deals. It is the Wash Away. It's Jill Blizzard's favorite. So I wanted to share that. Probably Christie's too. And then we also have the bundle of flannels with a panel we wanted to share with you today. Look how pretty. I don't want Scott and Jen over there to be saying I don't have it turned right. So look how pretty that is. So that's in a, a bundle of flannel back quarters. We wanted to show you that this morning. We also, if you are one that has not upgraded your XP, this is the software to do it. There's always nice features in upgrades. So... Take advantage of the 30% savings. And then we also have the tote bag. This is something Jen needs to get because she's got this new machine at home that she could make this with no problem. Make one of those 30 bags, those big bags. So it's 30% off. Today's the last day for that. Um, I need a call out to you. Today at 4 o'clock, we're having our dime class. It's virtual at 4 o'clock, but you got to get signed up today. We need 30 more people to get signed up today before 4 o'clock. Um, it, it's real educational to do these virtual classes. You learn about product. You learn about how to custom quilt and blocks in your sashing with your embroidery machine. Uh, today, we're going to go straight into this. Um, the Stellaire, which is the XJ2, I wanted to show you this because this machine is great to sew with also. You don't have to take this arm off if you are sewing. You can go right into it. I wanted to show you some of the nice features that come with this machine. So Jen's going to show you. Uh, the rolled hem this morning, and we're going to show you the buttonhole. It's that quick, and you're going to see it happen. Now, if you're doing a rolled hem, correct me if I'm wrong, Jen, um, you need to practice a little bit um, on the fabric that you've cut off of the dress or whatever. But we wanted to show you that these machines have many features, whether it's in sewing or embroidery. And today we're just showing you some techniques with uh, something that Jen and Betsy and myself does every day, one way or another, with a machine similar to this. Jen uses the XP1, and Betsy uses the BQ3100. But the Stellar is a great machine where you can sew and embroidery with whatever you want to do. Uh, we love high-end machines to sew with, especially with alterations, because you have a lot of flexibility and different types of buttonholes, different stitches, decorative, whatever. But Jen's going to go right into the rolled hem. Go ahead, Jen. Yep. Thank you, Sue. All right. So when you are doing a rolled hem, it's good to start with a tail of thread so that it doesn't bunch up. The easiest way to do it is with your foot off and the presser foot raised. You're going to hold the thread from the needle. Turn your hand crank so that it loops down, grabs the thread, and then you can just grab it a lot easier than if the foot's on. So you pull out a couple inches. This is the rolled hem foot. If you'll see, it's got a little curve there at the front. That's what's going to grab your material and guide it into the roll. So we're going to put this on. The feet is easy to put on these machines. They, ju they just snap right down. Um, when you're doing a rolled hem foot, let's see, you want to go to your straight stitches. You want the center straight stitch. We are going to raise the stitch length just a little bit just so it's easier to see. Um, prep the material. 
um, it helps to fold it a little bit. I like to put a pin just to make it easier to get under the guide foot. No matter how much you practice, getting it started is always the hardest part. It's always a little bit fiddly. And just having a pin there at the end just makes it that much easier to hold on to. So we'll get it started there at the end. We're going to grab our thread tails. Um, having some kind of awl or just little pokey thing is super helpful for getting the fabric up into the roll. And I do this every day and it's still, it's, it's just fiddly. No matter how much you practice, but then once you're started, hold on to your thread tails and then you just start sewing. And as it sews, you'll see that it guides the fabric up into that loop. And when you're doing it, you do want to have the right side, the outside of your fabric, face down. And it's very important. Make sure your bobbin is the right color because the bobbin thread is what is going to show on the outside of the fabric. And you just hold it over so that the fabric is to the edge. I don't know if you can see that little curve right there. That's where you know it's going to go far enough over to fold under like it's supposed to. And if it's a curved piece of fabric, it can be a little bit trickier. You just have to hold it at a little bit more of an angle so that it curves around. If you are doing delicate fabrics like chiffon, some satins, things that unravel easily, it's very helpful to, before you start sewing your rolled hem, do a line of stay stitching. It's just a line of just straight stitches about a quarter inch from the edge. That'll help it prevent unraveling and it'll give you a little more control to hold the fabric into the foot. And as you can see, it just folds it as it goes. You get to the end. That's your needle. Pull that up. And then that's what it's going to look like on the inside. And then the outside's just a nice, super narrow hem. Hold that up so that they can see it, Jen. How nice. Flip it on the other side. We used a contrasting fabric. Hopefully it'd be it under the light, yeah. But you can see it's just nice and straight. It's a very narrow hem. It does take <laughs> practice. Just that's the nature of the beast. But it's very useful. It's helpful. Just play around with it with scrap fabric get the hang of it in no time. So that's the rolled hem foot. And next we are going to do buttonholes. Buttonholes are so incredibly easy on this machine. Um, so this is the buttonhole foot. Um, Which is the A foot. Yeah, it's the A foot, yes. So we'll have, there's a little guide in the back. It just pulls down, see, right there. That is your button. So you've got your buttonhole foot. You take your button. This is how you measure how big your buttonhole is going to be. And you just put it right there in the end of the buttonhole foot. And that will tell how long the stitch needs to be. So when we put it in, that up just a bit. This gray lever, that goes behind the this bar. little silver bar. So we're going to pop that up. I'm sorry. There we go. We see that got the, the gray levers behind the little silver bar. Our button is in the back. That's going to help measure. Now, when you are doing buttonholes, it is very, very important. You can't do it on just one piece of fabric. You need to have multiple layers, preferably a stabilizer or an interfacing, something to give the fabric more structure. Because otherwise, here's a little sample we did on just one piece. You'll see it's puckered, and you can see how the light shines through where it has affected the integrity of the fabric. So that's going to like pull and fray and eventually fail. So you always want to make sure that your fabric is well stabilized. Um, now, when it sews the buttonholes, it does start from the bottom of the buttonhole. So when you mark where your buttonhole needs to be, you want, I haven't marked this one, but when you do, you want to start at the bottom of your marking because that is where 
it's going to start. Lay it out of the way. All right. So we're going to go over here on this one. It's tab four, and then we'll just pick whatever buttonhole we want. I kind of like. And what's nice is look how many you get to choose from. So many buttonholes to choose from. And there's even some darning stitches in here as well. And we've got eyelets. Um, but let's see, we'll do, we'll do this one. That looks like a nice buttonhole. So we're just going to start stitching. Trim this thread so it doesn't get caught up. All right, and then we just go. And the size of button that Jen has put in the back will mm -hmm. be the same as the button. So when you split it open with your scissors mm -hmm. or your X-Acto knife, it'll fit perfect. Yep. And it'll take tons of sizes of buttons and you just clamp it down back there and that just automatically measures it for you. So you don't have to worry about, oh, did I make it long enough or realize that nope, nope. It, it does not going to fit and you have to redo it. We'll lock our stitch, cut our thread, Oop. and then take. Gotta do it up in the line. Oh, sorry. Let me move this up here. We've got back there knife, and we'll just slice right down the center, being careful not to get any of our threads that we've sewn. And then we can get all the way through on that one. There we go. And then we'll take our button to test. Perfect. Yep, it fits through perfectly. There you go. And that's how you do buttonholes. They're so easy on this machine. Like, um, I'm kind of sad we don't get to do more buttonholes. They're fun. <laughs> exactly. Um, what's really nice is with the screen, with all the brother machines, and I tell everybody, they go, well, how many classes? It's just so simple. It's very um, intuitive. Your foot is right here when you choose the patterns on the the screen. And it also has videos, mm -hmm. everything to explain. People says, well, how many classes do I get? Well, how many classes do you need? Because it explains itself and their manuals are wonderful. But I wanted Jen to show how nice it is. And... Maybe next week we'll show something new. If you um, like what we've shown you today, uh, we'll do something next week because I feel and know that education empowers you uh, to be better, a sewer, quilter, or embroidery person. Um, love these machines. Uh, they're just wonderful. And we didn't really do a lot of prep other than Myself putting stabilizer on it. Agreed, Jen. Yeah. That's um, we just, and then I made her stitch out, or I asked her to <laughs> yesterday. We pulled a piece of scrap out from a dress that we had mm -hmm. uh, finished. So, you know, for those of you that doesn't feel that you can afford to pay for us to hem the dress, I showed you the rolled hem that's really popular during our prom time. Or if you have an A-line dress and it's made out of um, knits, needles, another important thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, we um, have to have the right needle. <laughs> the right needle plays a big part in making sure that you've got your bobbin and everything in correctly. We had a situation yesterday where the lady had the bobbin in incorrectly once she got home with it. And she said that her machine was messing up. Well... Unless you do those things correctly, you're, it's going to falsify your tension. Uh, if you're not using good thread, is you're going to think something's wrong with your tension. If you're not using the right needle, I mean, the list goes on and on. I had Betsy do this little design up. Um, right here it is. Jen, you want to come and hold this yeah. up for me? Um, this is... I did a charm pack. It was done with the vintage. We didn't have to use them all, but uh, I got them mixed up. But this is just a table topper that we use with 
charm pack. So we wanted to show you that today. I didn't want Betsy's hard labor, hers and Christy's, to go unrecognized. So that's one. And then, you'll lay it over there, Jen. We did another. That was this one. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Because Betsy and I got confused yesterday. That was the Clover. It's just done from panels. The mini brick road, Christy helped do. This is done from this pattern. So we've got lots. And you know, if you're smart enough, you could just take this on out and make a quilt out of it and use about four of the charm packs. And this is the pattern. So we wanted to show you, we're constantly trying to come up with new ideas. Uh, and we have wonderful charm packs in the store that you can choose from. Um, we also wanted to mention to you, our row by row starts tomorrow. You purchase this. This is a nine by 36 Victoria our local designer designed this. This is four seasons because it's season this year. It's color my world. It comes in a kit with all your fabrics. Victoria didn't pick five. It's like a hundred when we were cutting all these, Betsy and I. This runs $18, so go ahead and get your order in today. Uh, this is the last day. You can order these at any time. This is our Kimberbell Queen Bee Club uh, fanny pack from the 80s and 90s. Um, this month, coming month, which is tomorrow, is the Tic Tac. So it's really cute. You can purchase these in a small pack, the Mylar, or you can purchase the tube, which is from Kimberbell. Be sure if you go to Kimberbell's site that you go through the sewing gallery so that we get credit uh, because they're selling direct now. And it just helps us as a small business. This is the Tic Tac. Um, this is your bag. And this is all the things that are done with the Mylar. And these are the bags you get. I think it's two in a bag. Or I might be lying. Um, one, two, three. Uh, so you get a bag. <clears throat> We wanted to show you that to give you a heads up. Uh, so this will be next month's Tic Tac monthly thing. We wanted to tell you, get your book now at the Sewing Gallery. This is the Mid-Atlantic 96 Shops is in it. Moda outdoes themselves, and I said it last week. If you've got the barcode for this, Moda is given 300 different patterns out that you can create from. So Moda keeps giving, uh, and we love Tracy, our rep. She's always a blessing to give us knowledge or education where we need to find something or we want to change something. She's always there to help. But this is a good book to have. This gives you 96 stores in it. Uh, it tells you their hours during the shop hop. It's for two months. It's July in August, and we hope you'll come out because I have wore the staff out preparing for it. Uh, so excited about that. Our up-and-coming class is June the 15th and I think the 29th. Yes, I always write my notes to make sure. You have an opportunity uh, to learn about the history and quilting with this class and book. Uh, you'll need to buy six to eight fabrics. Christy has bought nine or ten, because she keeps changing her blocks, but she is doing the eight and a half inch block. We done the 12 inch block, and we used, I think, six colors, so we wanted to show you a good class where you learn to put fabrics together. I suggest you stay in one collection, um, because it just works better. Now, we didn't do it the traditional Kansas Trouble colors. We did it in Happy Colors, and this is French General, so that's close enough to to the Kansas Troubles in my eyes. But nice book to have. You learn history. Um, you'll need a seven eighths ruler, 
And also, if you look at any of our classes, we do a description of all the things that you need for the class. And the seven eighths ruler that we promoted last week is a ruler you will need. I would suggest you get it because when you get tired and you're cutting those seven eighths, sometimes you go to three fourths and it don't turn out that good. Uh, so please sign up. But today I really need you to sign up for our four o'clock class with Dom. You go to our website. Mary has set it up. It's real easy. When you go to checkout, you think you're going to have to pay, but you don't have to pay. And we will be live with them at four o'clock today, right here in this area, um, introducing the uh, dime representative. And myself will be there. It'll be a wild day. Always lots of things going on at the sewing gallery. This is our weekly deal, the 25% off. I think there's 18 different patterns in here that you can use uh, for charm packs. So we try to keep giving you different unique things. And this week I put on sale Best Press 2 because a lot of you guys have not uh, been introduced to this. But what's nice about it, it's heavier than Best Press regular. Uh, a lot of times you'll find that when there's a crease in the fabric, you can't get it out. And you have to keep working it and working it. And you finally get it out. But this takes that away where you can just get it right away. Uh, we use our special spray bottles that mist instead of just the pump spray bottle. So if you're in need of Best Press 2, this is your opportunity to get it at a discount. Uh, I put our, um, our 30s fabric. If you want to hold those up, Jen, go yes. around and hold those up. I wanted to show you they're online now. Victoria came in this week and or the end of last week and helped me get them. But this would be a really cool quilt. You could do these with fat quarters, but it's, yeah, if you'll just hold those up and spread them out a little bit, Jen, there so that people can see how beautiful they are. So we're doing the bundles of the 30s fabric on sale this week. And then we're doing uh, paper for foundation piecing. Um, if you are a paper piecer, this is the product. Run $16.99. Just wanted to mention that. So we wanted to throw you a good deal of this in it. So um, lots of new stuff, new things going on at the sewing gallery. The sewing gallery um, this weekend is getting a new floor. So we are closing the shop at 1 o'clock on Saturday so I can make Jen and Betsy move everything from one end to this end. Uh, we're closing at 1 because the guys are coming in at 3 so that we can move stuff. So if there's something you need or you need to pick up your order that you're placing online today, um, do it by 1 o'clock on Saturday. I don't like to close early. But uh, I want to have the store ready for the guys putting the flooring. I have been waiting for 12 years to get this floor, so I am so excited. Um, yay for us. There'll be lots of new things. And hope you come out next week is Summerfest in Mercer County. We're calling our Sewing Fest in Princeton. We're going to set up a tin, tent outside. We're going to have nice sales on our sale fabric. We're going to be selling our Kimberbell samples, uh, which if you don't embroidery and you want to get something nice that's embroidered, uh, we're selling them and at a ridiculous price. And we will also have our sample quilts on sale. We'll have it all set up outside. Jill's coming in, Doreen, Jennifer, Betsy's going to be off at a wedding, so we're excited, so we got lots of exciting things happening at the Sewing Gallery for you to participate in, and hopefully next week, don't come in Tuesday, because we'll be still putting it back. I've been telling Jennifer, we got to remember where everything goes, and she says, well, let's take pictures. I said, we ain't taking pictures. I said, look around. So uh, come out and see what uh, you paid for. Um, I do believe in investing back into uh, my business because I like for people to see that their money is at work and what they've contributed to my business is helping the community and also uh, 
for my legs and Jen and Betsy's and Doreen's and Debbie's. But um, I like to invest my money back into the business. Uh, I don't misuse the money that I build my business with. I try to improve things for the store to make you proud of your local shop. And with Shop Hop coming, I want them to remember the sewing gallery as a beautiful store uh, and wonderful service because we give all that on a daily basis. So please sign up for Dime. Starts at four o'clock, but I need you to get signed up now. Go to our website. Mary's made it so easy for you to do. Uh, take advantage of our weekly sales. The end of the month is our 30%. We'll have new items next month, new giveaways. So be sure and sign up. And we hope you enjoyed our demonstration by Jen at the sewing gallery uh, with the rolled hem and the button. They're just, the machines are just so easy. So we wanted to show you something in sewing and maybe we'll come up with something inspiring next week. I don't know. I might be too tired to show you anything, but we are so excited about the new flooring. So check us out next week to see our, what you paid for. And uh, we hope you have a great weekend.